live from the Iowa State Fair. This is Steven Winsenberg, and I am right. That's right, I am right-handed. And I do not understand the discrimination against lefties, but I have a daughter who's left-handed, and I have a specialist on the phone with me who is put together a survival guide for being a left-handed person in a right-handed world. So Ray Lindsay has put together a book called Left is Right. Ray, thank you for being with us on WHO. Good afternoon, Steve. How are you today? So it is going to be International Left-Handers Day. Why is there a need for a special day for left-handers? Well, because 15% of Americans, about 40 million people, are left-handed, and we are, believe it or not, a discriminated against minority. Hmm. Uh, the world is really set up for right-handed people. And left-handers, of course, are very adaptable. You have to be when everything, just about everything, uh, is designed to be used with the right hand. To be honest with you, even with a daughter who's left-handed, I really haven't even thought about it that much. Yes, she does complain about the potato peeler and the, co <laughs> and, and the can opener. Yes. And sometimes she complains about the car with the shift. But I don't think about it. I just think, well, I'll get used to it. That's because you're right-handed, and you haven't had to make those kind of adaptations in your life. Interestingly, Bill Gates, uh, I think he's uh, heralded as the richest man in the world, yeah. he is left-handed. And on his window system, not that I need to give him a plug, he doesn't need any free advertising, is easily set up so that a left-hander can move the mouse to the left side of the computer. <laughs> Only a lefty would have thought about that and been that considerate. What fascinates me about your book, Left is Right, is all the people in high-powered positions who are left-handed. Bill Clinton, yes. Bill Gates, richest person, right. Oprah, richest woman on television, You got it. Uh, Prince Charles and Prince William, That's correct. the next leaders you know, over there of the monarchy. Yes, and of course, these are current leaders, but if you really want to go back... And people don't think about this. Caesar was left-handed. Alexander the Great was left-handed. And so was Napoleon. How do you know some of this? Uh, from, fo not photos of Caesar, obviously, but paintings and things of that. Napoleon, if you study those famous portraits of him, had his left hand in his um, uh, coat pocket to protect it, no doubt. Hmm. John McCain. Yeah. Gerald Ford and his vice president, Nelson Rockefeller, were both left-handed. And George Bush Sr. Gosh. was left-handed. So do you think left-handers are more apt to become leaders? <laughs> they may be a little, a little nuttier and therefore take on these things. No, um, they are creative and adventurous because they draw on the right side of their brain, which is the side of the brain, according to um, scientists who work on such things. Uh, more action, uh, creative thinking, not tending to plod along. Bill Gates, now, not a politician, but was had to be really, really creative to come up with all these concepts mm -hmm. for computers. Right. Yeah. I and mean, they have stores now around the country that are just left-handed stores, aren't there they? There are quite a few stores around the country, and even more now in this uh, day of the Internet. There are mm -hmm. many products available over the net for so. lefties, everything from, from the uh, can opener and the potato peeler yeah. your daughter needs so much to wonderful shirts that say left is right or kiss me because I'm left-handed, mm -hmm. things of that nature. And Ray, you had mentioned that John F. Kennedy Jr. was left-handed. Uh, yes, that's true. And, and that um, you think that it's possible that his plane crash could somehow be related to that, to the way he, he adapts as a left-hander. Well, this is a known fact that more boys than girls are left-handed. More boys than girls tend to be dyslexic. Dyslexia is a problem that causes you not to have the right sense of direction, whether you're trying to write, write and spell or whether uh, your, your spatial orientation. Of course, the setting was bad enough to begin with, but it may indeed have been a factor. Hmm. How, how so? Can you be more detailed? Well, dyslexia, as I said. But I mean, he, you're saying essentially that he was confused and... And lost his way, basically? He might, might yes. Uh, unquestionably, he lost his way. And but, but authorities you're saying... say that that is so. And, and several people have theorized that he. one reason he did lose his way is because he had this dyslexic okay. problem. Okay, and you're saying that left-handers are more apt to be dyslexic. Ab absolutely. And I've also heard that they're more apt to be stutterers, too. Well, that goes together, you see, because with dyslexia, you you it's difficult for you to see things the proper way and right. so that frustrates your brain see and say and they do stutter 
you know, who was uh, among the, the most famous, if you can say this, stutterers, was uh, Prince Albert, who took over the crown when the Duke of Windsor in England left. And his radio speeches had to be very carefully edited because he stuttered. Mm. And he was left handed. So much. He was left handed. Yeah. And interestingly, his grandson, the current Prince Charles, and his great grandson, William, are both left handed. Right, let's get to the phone lines. And Diane is up first with our guest, Ray Lindsay. Hi, Diane. Hi. What's your question? Well, I have a six year old daughter that's left handed, and I've noticed that she struggles with the little scissors that say they're supposed to be for either right or left handed. I just was curious if. Um, your guess it thinks that it's better to have left-handed scissors or if it's something I should make or deal with? Okay. Well, that's interesting. When I was a child, there were no left-handed scissors, I being 125 years old. Uh, <laughs> so I learned to cut with my right hand. I, in schools today, they do have scissors for lefties, and she's just starting to go to school. If possible, let her use one for her left hand. It's one less thing that she has to adapt to. Okay, thanks. Okay, okay thanks, Diane. Diane. Um, Judy's up next with our guest, Ray Lindsay. Hi, Judy. Good morning. Are you left-handed? Yes, I am, definitely. Hi, Judy. Um, Left is right. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> well, you know, uh, people read from left to right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's like, now, it shouldn't be so difficult for a right-handed person. I mean, you always start at the left and go to the right. And another thing I found interesting, I mean, the gal just brought up about her little girl with being left-handed and being little. Well, I know they've got scissors nowadays. And another thing that is a problem, though, as far as, like, with silverware, yeah. they always put it on the right side. Mm -hmm. Always. So you feel or, this, you're discriminated against. <laughs> yeah, we are. I mean, but it, you'll find out. And I ran into this with people, and maybe this is my own way of thinking, that for some reason people who are left-handed, they catch on to things and do things quicker well, than a right-handed well, person. That, that's true, yeah. Judy, because, and I'll tell you why, we have to use both sides of our brain. We can't just rely on our creative side because the world is set up for righties. And very interestingly, if someone is in an accident and damages... Uh, their head has a brain concussion. A, a lefty will recover his uses or her uses more quickly, just because we are so used to using both sides of our brains. Really? Uh, yes, it's it's true. I wanted to make another point though about the silverware, and you, Steve, right hand. And next time you look at a butter knife, <laughs> put that butter knife in your left hand and see what it would be like to <laughs> hey, try to butter your bread. Hey, don't take all your aggressions out on me. Oh uh, no, I don't I represent just try all to the right-handed people. Easier in the world. for you to deal with your daughter <laughs> and see her frustration. <laughs> David is up next on Michelson in the morning. Hi, David. Hi, how are you all? This Great. Morning. What's your question? My question is: Is people, when they're born, do the parents teach them to be left-handed or right-handed, and then? And then when a person has an accident and has to give up using his right hand, he learns to write left-handed. Mm -hmm. Now, is there any similarities? You know, people have the accidents, you know, and have to learn to write left-handed, or people who are left-handed sure. didn't have to learn to write right-handed. Because you're asking, are people born left-handed or right-handed, right? Well, yes, that's mm -hmm. the question I had. Right. And that other one was when people oh. have accidents, how can they adjust from okay. writing left-handed to the right hand or vice versa? People are born left-handed or right-handed. But unfortunately, for many, many, many years, if a child started using her left hand, she was switched right. because there are a lot of bad connotations about being left-handed. Oh, yeah. The I have a even wonderful teachers, teachers sports do that. story. Up in, this continued up until the 50s. Babe Ruth went to a Catholic school, and earlier than that, in the 30s, he went to a Catholic school. They were very concerned about teaching him to write with his right hand. So he had awful penmanship. Fortunately, nobody switched his batting, and he became <laughs> one of the, the most famous still slugger, but, right? But, but Ray, what, at what age do you know a child is left-handed or right-handed? When did they start to develop that so that you know what they're going to be? Usually around two, when they start feeding themselves or trying to dress themselves, you can see the hand of preference. And as far as people being switched, this is still done. Many countries in the world, especially third world countries, where using your left hand is associated with evil. But by about the age of two, you, you, can, you can see which hand a child will use to pick up food or a toy or something like that. Well, they have a theory, 
that I was actually left-handed and that somebody forced me to switch. Now, I don't know where this came from. You know how folklore goes in your family, and Grandma says, well, I think he was left-handed when he was one or something like that. It uh, may well be true. Is there a way of knowing that? Is there a way of knowing if you were meant to be left-handed, but you're really right-handed today because somebody forced you that way? Well, uh, I knew a person who had the world's worst penmanship because, and it just, you couldn't read it, and he had been switched, and years later he found out from his grandparents that that was so, uh, and he grew up in the Midwest, <laughs> probably in Des Moines. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't grow up in Des Moines, but... Uh, I, mean, uh, I, I don't know. I've talked to some people who say, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable using both hands, but I really use my right hand because that's the way I learned to do it. Yeah, I think I did go to the doctor once. We did one of these tests where it's a strength test. Yeah. And you have to squeeze together with your right hand on this machine and then your left hand. And yeah. my, le my left hand was stronger. Well, there you go, lefty. I messed up. That's <laughs> Ray Lindsay is the author of Left is Right. You can News Radio 1040. W-H-O. Steven Winsenberg's live from the Iowa State Fair. Ray Lindsay is the author of Left is Right. Ray, what about ambidextrous people? Because we had one of our account executives, Kitty, just came in and she said that when she got to grade school that she was switched from left to right. And yet she's kind of happy about it because now she has more strength in her left hand. She can play pianos you know, with her hands equally strong. And she can even have to switch. If she has to write, she can write with her left hand. Oh, that is, that is an excellent talent. I haven't really tried that. But... Ambidextrous people really do have the best of both worlds because they can do well at sports, but they it's also easier for them to adapt to all the things in this world that are meant to be used with mm -hmm. the right hand, from turning on the car ignition to uh, uh, turning on your television set. Yeah. Any of those things are all meant to go. The world goes righty. Right. Yes. Chris is up next on WHO. Hi, Chris. Hello. What's your question? Well, I have a, a daughter who, when was very young... Um, she used to do a lot of things with both hands, and I don't know whether it was our influence or what it was, but she ended up being right-handed. But even now, I, I notice her pick up a salt and pepper shaker with her left hand sometimes, or she'll grab her drink glass with her mm -hmm. left hand, but How she writes right-handed. How old is she? Um, she'll be nine in September. So you're asking if you should switch her back? Um, I don't know. It, or should I... Chris, what do, what do I do if she is left-handed and... She's doing things right-handed. That's fine. Don't mess with her brain. Her brain is telling her which hand to use for which task. Uh, it's amazing how many people today with young children about the age do switch them. You're right-handed. Maybe you will put a bat in her right hand. If she's not comfortable with it in her right hand, she'll switch to her left hand. Yeah. But yeah. if you see her using her left hand, please don't switch her because you're messing with her head. Right. Oh, I don't say anything, but I just... Yeah, so she's okay. Like that. So she's okay, is what Ray is saying. Okay. Okay, thanks, yes, Chris. that's fine. John's up next on WHO. Hi, John. Yes, I got a complaint. Yeah. Those three-ring binders. They always... Uh, oh, have yeah. you ever tried to write left-handed when your <laughs> oh. paper's in a three-ring binder? All right. the other students get to write right away. i got to take the paper out. How about your checkbook? I there have my... Go. Oh, I have to take it out to write in it. It's dreadful. You can, if you want to pursue this, order things like uh, uh, binders that... Open on the right, but you know, again, it's one of those things I adapt. So I take yeah. the checks out of the book and I write them. But you're absolutely right. Thanks, John. Uh, gee, Ray, it sounds like a lot of left-handers have a lot of deep-seated aggression. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it comes out in a positive way. I think we notice around us who else is left-handed. I hope we have a sense yeah, see, of humor about it. I don't it. even think about it when you mentioned like Clinton and all these people who are left-handed. I didn't even think about it. Well, you know, one of my favorite stories is Charlie Chaplin wanted to be a left-handed violinist. Now, you think of a symphony, everybody stringing away with their right hands. So he thought it would be impossible and became a comedian instead. <laughs> you see, we must have a sense of humor Yeah, that's about right. It. And Elaine, you get the final call here for Ray Lindsay. Hi, Elaine. Hi. What was the comment you wanted to make? Well, I had uh, my first son was left-handed from the time he could reach for anything at all when he was born. And, um, but the big frustration for him was that, um, you know, a child's first uh, motion that they can do naturally is, uh, for a right-hander, is you can do the counterclockwise winding motion. And to, or, I'm sorry, the clockwise. And to sure. wind counterclockwise is more difficult. That comes later. So a left-hander's wow. natural inclination is to wind counterclockwise. And it's more difficult to do the clockwise wind. And so all his wind-up toys well, right, the toys. are okay. for right-handed. They sure. have to go clockwise, and that was a much more difficult, and he gets so frustrated and yeah. goes across the room. Yeah, so he did, but down the line, Elaine, that's going to help. 
that's going to help him because he will be yeah. more yeah. ambidextrous. He will be able to do more. Thanks, Elaine. Uh, Ray, I like your attitude. You're essentially huh? saying don't get upset, you know, just because there are positives, right? Left-handers, I think you say in the book, are more intelligent. They do better in oh, certain areas I, of school. I don't want the world to come after me. I won't say more intelligent, maybe more creative. Again, because through their lives they have to learn to they adapt to, adapt. to situations. Yeah. Ray Lindsay is the author of Left is Right. This is Stephen Winsenberg. Have a great day.